Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to create emissive materials, or to put it simpler, just a good looking neon material. So I have this scene from a previous video, we have this cube that is like very lit up. So to get this effect, the first thing you need to do is to create a new material. So right click, create, material, then we name that emissive, and I'm going to select my cube and just drop this emissive material right here. So right now it's still emissive, it's still very white. And I will show you everything from the very beginning. So we have this cube, um, just a white material, and nothing is really happening. So in the material interface, you need to check emission right here. So you are checking emission to put it to true, and then you can choose a different color. So in this case, I want this cube to be some sort of purple neon-ish. Gonna select around there. And what is really important here is the intensity slider, where you can change the value, which will change the intensity. As you can see at the bottom of this slider, we can see the color getting, um, the color getting close to white as we improve the intensity value, and close to black as we decrease this value. So right now, even though I'm doing that, we can see that nothing is happening for the cube. And this is because we need a very essential component. We need a global volume, or just any form of volume where your cube would be incorporated in. And in there, you need to have the bloom preprocessing. So I'm going to delete that from this example. And I'm going to start from the very beginning. So you have this volume. I chose the mode to be global. You can choose that to local, but in here we're just gonna keep it simple and have a volume for the entire scene. So global. And I'm gonna add an override here. So this is just a parameter of the volume. So in here we have post-processing, and then we choose bloom. And the bloom effect is what makes everything emissive. So here I just have to select intensity, to turn it on. And I'm gonna increase this value slowly Right now there is nothing. You can also choose a threshold, but right now we're just gonna focus on intensity. So back to this cube and back to this emissive material. Right now the material is kind of black, so I'm gonna choose back a purple-ish color. I'm gonna have an intensity value of 1.9, and I forgot to just turn in the global volume on. So here we go, we have an emissive material. And if I go back into the emission material, I can change the value to be higher, which will make it way brighter and closer to white, whereas the emission will be the color we want. And if I tune down this, it's gonna get less bright. So let's go for some purple-ish value. I'm gonna go back to the global volume and I'm just gonna play around the intensity here. So let's go for 1.7. And here we go, we have a new emissive material. And that's pretty much all you need to do. And in case you have a scene with no volume, you just have to right click here and you look for volume and global volume. So that's pretty much it for this video and I will see you in the next one.